in Lublin in eastern Poland, medical experts are pioneering the use of an innovative artificial bone technology that has saved some patients from amputation. One of the first to benefit was Daniel Bardega. Following a motorcycle accident, he faced a choice, accept an experimental procedure or lose his right leg. Of course, at the beginning there were quite a few worries because there was no guarantee that my body would accept the material, that it wouldn't be rejected. A large section of Daniel's leg bone was destroyed in the crash. Dr. Adam Nogalski used pieces of artificial bone called flexios together with a metal plate to rebuild a seven centimeter section of Daniel's femur. The main problem of the cavities in the bone was solved by implanting the new material, which goes in place of the bone in small segments, as you can see here. This is it, here. This photo was taken eight years after the operation. The result of the treatment is good, and the patient can move without crutches. The Flexios technology was co-developed by biochemist Anna Belkars. She knew that surgeons weren't happy with other bone replacements which come in powder form and are tricky to handle. In contrast, Flexios can be cut and shaped when dry and becomes flexible when wet. It's also made with artificial compounds rather than animal bone, reducing the risk of rejection. It stays in the body and bone cells grow in and around it. That is Flexios. This is Flexios, which looks like a pumice stone but isn't. It's a material that replaces the bone, and when it's dampened with a solution, it has a level of elasticity and can be formed by the surgeon during the operation. The Flexios projects benefited from a million euros in EU grants, including cohesion policy funds. It's won 14 awards and has been accorded three patents. 41 people have received Flexios implants in what are classed as experimental operations. One of them is Jan Thielus, who's had five unsuccessful operations to repair his shattered thigh bone. He's just had Flexios implanted in his leg in the hope of finally seeing bone growth. Only those who previously had other methods of treatment which did not bring the expected effect, i.e. there was still no bone growth, received the treatment. This is the last chance for these patients. Others should get their chance soon. Flexios is due to receive its CE certification mark later this year, meaning it can be commercialised across Europe.